Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside Royal Brougham Pavilion. We are on we are on Iron Coaching Court here in Seattle, Washington. The Seattle Pacific University Falcons opening up their home portion of their schedule. They come in with a record of two and two. And uh, this is their home opener against the Douglas College Royals from New Westminster, British Columbia, just north of the border. Uh, we see uh, Simon Fraser University come here as part of the GNAC, and uh, Douglas College is right near Simon Fraser uh, in New Westminster. Uh, Simon Fraser and Burnaby uh, right next door, pretty much. And. Uh, the uh, Royals are coached by Matt McKay in his second year, and uh, he has some of his top scorers missing, but he's going to go with a lineup that features uh, Bob and Dylan, Kai Bomert, Jivan Sadu, Tanner French, and Luca Bonamici. And uh, SPU coming in, as I mentioned, a record of two and two. Douglas College two and three. They have actually already played five games in their conference schedule. This is an exhibition game on their schedule. It does count on the SBU schedule. But uh, Seattle Pacific uh, two and two have played all four games so far at Azusa, uh, California, and uh, they split two weekends. Uh, they're going to go with Zach Paulson, Sion Blackman, Maui Z, Shaw Anderson, and Kelton Samore, and uh, Grant Leap, the head coach for the Falcons. And uh, double check to see uh, what year he is in. I believe this is year seven for him. But uh, teams are out on the floor getting ready to go here. Shaw Anderson for the Falcons, the back-to-back -back GNAC Player of the Week. And Kelton Samore is in the circle, jumping it up against Tanner French. And the Falcons win the tip. Here comes Maui Z, a newcomer to the Falcons. As are a lot of the uh, Falcons roster, they do have some returning players from last year. Blackman has that one knocked out of bounds off the hands of Bonamici. Greg Sexton with you here on the SPU webcast tonight as the Falcons open up at home against an international opponent as Shaw Anderson misses that one and the uh, Royals with the rebound going the other way. A rare miss for Shaw Anderson. He is off to a blistering start. Shooting the ball well from the floor, from three-point range, and from the free throw line. He's 97% at the free throw line in the first four games for the Falcons. This is Bob and Dylan, and he'll get it to French down low, and that's Bonamici putting it up and in, and the Royals take the lead 2-0 over the Falcons. Here's Z the other way. Now Anderson with it out on top. Some more at the free throw line, hands off to Z. Anderson gets it to some more in the high post. He'll back down. And put it up, and that one rattles home. 2-2 two, two your score. As that one rattled in off the back of the iron. And the Royals in the front court now. Royals have played three GNAC opponents so far, all considered exhibition games on their schedule. Really, anybody outside of their conference is uh, an exhibition game on their schedule. There's the uh, Royals with another bucket from Bonamici, and it is four to two. Luca Bonamici, four quick points. And Anderson will take it to the rack, and he's going to draw the foul. He puts it in, and he'll head to the free throw line. Shaw Anderson coming into this game 60% from the field, 55% from three point range and 97% from the free throw line. And Anderson with his first two and misses on the free throw. So uh, he's off to a little bit of a cold start here, but uh, we'll see if he can get settled in here at home. This is going to the bucket, laying it up and in is Kai Bomer, freshman out of Delta, British Columbia. A lot of the Royals from the Vancouver area. 
This is Anderson getting in and putting it up over Bomert. And the Falcons tie it back up at six. Dillon had it poked away. Some more, and uh, some more is going to chase it down. Paulson is going to have an easy lay-in, and that will make it eight to six. The Falcons in front. Here's Bonamici the other way. He'll get it off to Bomert. And Bomert switches hands, goes up with the right hand, and missed the shot off the back iron. Here's some more. Stepping between defenders, lays it up and in. And the Falcons go up by four, 10 to six. The uh, Royals really have not had success against the GNAC. They play in the Pacific West Athletic Association. That one partially blocked, and Paulson comes out with it for the Falcons. He'll lay it off for Z, and now in the corner, Anderson for a three, and that one goes down. And Shaw Anderson settling in. And it is 13 to six, the Falcons on a run. This is Bonamici. 7-0 run for the Falcons to open up a seven-point lead. And Blackman reaches in and takes it away. Here's some more. He'll get to the bucket, reverses it up and in with the right hand. And it is 15-6. Falcons by nine now. And this was uh, about how we expected this one to go. The uh, Royals had a, a, the lead early as Samora is tripped up on his way to the bucket. And uh, he will go to the free throw line. 16 minutes even on the clock. And a foul called on Tanner French. And uh, the... We will get to the media timeout here with 16 minutes even left on the clock. Falcons up 15-6 to six over the Douglas College Royals. We'll be right back in just a moment on the SV webcast. Back inside Royal Rome Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast this evening as the Falcons race out to a 15-6 lead in the first four minutes of the ball game against Douglas College. They have lost to three GNAC opponents. Uh, I was uh, trying to run those down. Didn't, uh, didn't quite get to them yet, but they lost to Western Washington, St. Martins, and Simon Fraser all by uh, more than 30. And uh, this one so far looking like uh, the Falcons are going to have a, an easier time of it, but uh, that's why they play the game. This one started at zero. Falcons uh, subbing in Ben Baker McCann, and they're trying to get a couple more subs in here. And uh, Kelton Samore is going to shoot first. They let ba uh, Baker McCann come in. And uh, they have Julian Mora and Trace Evans getting ready to check in as well. Samore knocks down the first shot. And now we get our uh, we get Mora in. Evans is going to come in for Samore, I believe, after the uh, second free throw. So Julian Mora in. Number 13 for the Falcons, freshman out of Bend, Oregon. And Ben Baker McCann, a junior out of Berkeley, California, wearing number 15. Free throws good for some more. And uh, we'll get Evans to sub in. Trace Evans 
freshman out of New South Wales, Australia. And uh, he actually was at University of Missouri, Kansas City. And uh, still listed as a freshman, I believe, uh, a red shirt. And this is Dylan getting it to French. And now Bomert will kick it back out to Bonamici. Bonamici going to get a screen from Sidhu. And now a three, try to, trying to beat the shot clock by Bomert, and he couldn't do it. He didn't draw iron. And so the Falcons will take it back. They lead it now 17-6. to six. As uh, Gurek Sran is in for the, uh, for the Royals, as well as uh, Gerard Pamacon. And here's Mora across midcourt for SPU. Mora kicks it to Paulson. Paulson gets it to Anderson, and he goes to the rack and lays it up and in. 19-6 here. Anderson with nine here in the early going. There's a three on the way, and it falls short from Kai Bomert. Here's Ben Baker McCann stepping into a three, and that one's well off the mark. See if they can get him another one. As he had a good look at that one. His first shot here at Royal Brougham Pavilion. This is Bomert to Pamacon. And now Dylan with it. And Zach Paulson backs up and takes it away. And goes to the other end, lays it up and in with a right hand. 21 to 6. Falcons now on a 15 0 run. And make it a, uh, a 19 to 2 run. Back to with, when uh, the Royals had a 4 2 lead. Here's a jump ball. And the possession arrow will keep it with. The Royals. The Royals number 12, Hunter Thompson. For the Falcons, number four. Hunter Thompson checks in and number three, for the Royals. And uh, the Falcons with a couple of subs, Jonas Latour and Kassan Rouse. Latour wearing number four and Rouse wearing number three for SPU. Here's a three on the way, and that one rattles off. No good. That one from Jivan Sidhu. Here is a quick three in transition from the corner by Latour. He couldn't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, though. Puts it up and in. And he followed up his own miss and ends up putting the ball in for two after missing on the three. Good pass in the corner to Sidhu, and that one is off the mark but chased down by Pamacon. And now going to the floor and keeping the dribble alive there. Here's Sadu with a left hand. Nice looking move there by, uh, actually, but that's uh, Greg Sran. Sadu is on the ball. Sran number seven with the, uh, the move to the bucket there. And that makes it 23-8 as that ends the, uh, the run the Falcons were on but they have opened up a pretty comfortable lead here Evans goes to the bucket couldn't get it to go follows his own miss couldn't get that one and Ben Baker McCann follows up with a miss as well and the Falcons go 0 for 3 on that trip here's Pamacon 1245 to go first half 23-8 Falcons as Pamacon takes it with his left and switches to his right. Lays it up and in. 23-10. to 10. Here's Mora. And this is going to be Rouse finding Latour. And that one is off the mark. Latour steps in front of that one and comes up with the steal. And here's Julian Mora. 
Kassan Rouse, a sophomore from Lacey, Washington. And there's a three from Mora, no problem on that one. Latour, a freshman from Polesbo, Washington, just across the water. 26-10 on the three from Mora. And here's Pamacon, a three from the corner. That one rims out. Trace Evans, the rebound. Evans, six foot nine. And uh, this is Rouse getting it to Mora. Another deep three, and that one is not is all net. Back to back threes by Julian Mora. He's got six. 29 to 10. Pamacon being guarded by Baker McCann. And now Sran. And he throws it right to Latour. Latour stepped in the passing lane. Mora goes to the bucket, lays it short. And Latour comes up with a rebound. Baker McCann will throw it in the corner to Mora, who will drive and put it up and in. Julian Mora, Julian Mora with a quick eight points here in the last couple of minutes. A couple of threes and a driving lay in there. 31 to 10, SPU. Falcons have yet to play a game where the uh, margin has been double digits either way. As uh, all of their games so far within single digits. Evans turns around, reverses it up and in. Nice looking move there from Trace Evans. And that'll make it 33 to 10, SPU. Still more than 10 minutes to go here in the first half as Pamacon gets to the bucket, lays it up and in. Mora pushes it the other way. And now he'll settle down and get the Falcons into an offensive possession. This is Latour from the corner for three, and it's good. 36 to 12, Falcons by 24, halfway through the first half. And we could see some big offensive numbers in this one. There's a bucket from Hunter Thompson, sophomore out of Victoria, British Columbia. A lot of the Royals roster from the greater Vancouver area. Victoria a little bit outside of that, uh, that area. Mora another three from the corner, and he's got 11, 39 to 14. Mora comfortable shooting from beyond the arc. Got to the bucket on the one a moment ago. This is Sran a little bit too strong, re trying to re reverse it. Here's Baker McCann the other way, finds Evans, and a nice looking assist from Evans. Baker McCann to Evans, who goes up with the left hand and lays it in. 41-14. Pamacon the other way, He's trying to step through a couple of defenders, does, couldn't get the shot to go though. Baker McCann for Latour, an open three from the left wing, good. Falcons by 30. 8.40 to go here in the first half. And the Falcons making quick work here of the Douglas College Royals. There's a foul on Latour. And that will take us to another timeout. This is the under 12 timeout. It's eight, we have 8.33 left on the clock. But uh, a fast moving game here. And the Falcons, uh, 44 points on the board. Just 11 and a half minutes into this one. We'll be right back on the SPU webcast in just a moment.
Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons by 30, 44 to 14, with 8.33 remaining in the first half. Sion Blackman will check back in. Kobe Elsner for the Falcons, and uh, Clayton Whitman out on the uh, floor as well. Bonamici will throw it in to Dillon. And he'll hand off to Lucas Hutchison, who was in the game for the first time. And we get a travel called on Hunter Thompson. Falcons will take it the other way. This is Kassan Rouse handling the ball. Julian Mora poured in a bunch of points and now gets a break. This is a three on the way from Latour, and that one rattles out. Rebound to Bonamici going the other way. Julian Mora with, uh, let's see here. Three-point basket, Hunter Thompson. There's a three by uh, Hunter Thompson. And yeah, Mora had 11 in just seven minutes. This is Whitman going baseline. Now they circle it back around. Rouse gets it to Latour, and he goes up and in with the, the uh, turnaround at the bucket. 46-17. This is Bonamici for a three, and that one is good. Luca Bonamici with seven points for the Royals to lead them in the uh, scoring category. Elsner for Latour, and now Whitman with it. And a shot goes up from the corner by Latour, and that one's off the mark. Rebound coming the other way. This will be a three on the way off the, the iron from Lucas Hutchison out of Maple Ridge, British, British Columbia. That one deflected, but uh, gets through to Latour. And now Blackman will swing it over to Rouse. Kassan Rouse looking for somewhere to go. He steps back, puts it up, puts it in. Good turnaround Kassan jumper there from Kassan Rouse to get on the board. And that'll make it 48 to 20. Royals with it, Bonamici. Swings it over. And it's out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Royals. Out of bounds. And uh, we will. Number 33, checking in for the Falcons. Kelton some more will come in. Should be at another media timeout here at 5.56 remaining in the first half. And the Falcons up by 28, 48 to 20. We'll be right back in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Five fifty-six to go, first half. Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast from Royal Brougham Pavilion tonight. Falcons opening up the home portion of their schedule against the Douglas College Royals. They will have the uh, Warner Pacific Knights here on Saturday out of Portland, Oregon. 
That'll be a 3 p.m. tip in between, of course. Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. And the Falcons will be back at it after Thanksgiving. That one off the mark and a foul going to be called. And they got some more on the foul there. That's his first. And it's going to send Tanner French to the free throw line. French puts in the first free throw. And that is his first point of the ball game. Bonamici with seven for the Royals. And French gets both free throws to go. 48-22. Here's Maui Z back onto the floor. He started the game for the Falcons. And he'll swing it over in the corner for a three from Sion Blackman. Blackman knocks it down. And the uh, net, you know it's swished when uh, the net stays up over the rim as they uh, will knock it back down. And uh, Hutchison getting it across midcourt. 51-22. Step back, three on the way is short, but French is there for the rebound. And nice pass there to get it to Hunter Thompson for the lay-in. Thompson with seven now. This is Clayton Whitman, and that one, he was trying to get the pass through to Elsner, hit the rim, and the net again comes up. This time they don't blow it dead. Here's Dylan on a three, and he puts it in. And the Royals. Making a bit of a run, getting back to within 24, 51-27. The, the net came back down. Whitman to some more in the high post. Z with it now. And he'll call out a play. Gets a screen from some more. Pick and roll. Some more pulls up from the free throw line and leaves it short. Here's Bonamici the other way. Blackman reaches in, and they're going to call him for a foul. 4.23 left on the clock here in the first half. Latour and Paulson will check back in for SBU. And for the uh, Royals, Jivan Sadu. Royals backcourt. And this will be Bob and Dylan. One of a few players from Surrey, British Columbia, which is also right in that same area. Burnaby, New Westminster, the greater Vancouver area. Blackman looked like he was going to shoot it, decided to try to pass it to Blackman or to uh, some more instead, and some more wasn't looking for it, thinking that uh, Blackman was going to shoot it. We get a timeout called here with 4.02 remaining in the first half. And uh, this will be a... Uh, no, they're, they're going to make this immediate timeout here. 4.02 to go first half. 51-27 SPU over Douglas College. We'll be right back in just a moment.
Back inside Royal Brome Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons return to the floor, as do the Royals. Douglas Collins will have the ball. And uh, the Royals will get it in to Dylan Blackman, defending him across midcourt. And this is Bonamichi. And he's going to step back and take a three over some more, and he knocks it in. Bonamichi with 10 points here in the first half. And he has taken up some of the scoring slack as uh, the Royals without Corez Johnson and Ekman, Ekman Sohal, two of their top scorers. They're out with the flu. Some more turns around and leaves it short. And Paulson will get the rebound and dish it off to Latour for the bucket. Latour's got 12 here in the first half. It's 53 to 30. This is Hutchison getting it to Bonamici. Bonamici drives and has it knocked away, but it's off of the Falcons. And it'll stay with Douglas College. 23-point ball game here with three minutes to go in the first half. Bonamici with it, being guarded by Blackman. And he goes behind his back, but Samoa is right there waiting for it. Blackman will hand off to Latour, and he reverses it up and in. Backhanded it in off the backboard, and it's 55-30. to Here's a three on the way from Sadu, and that one misses everything. Some more there for the rebound. Latour has it poked away by Sadu. And Sadu is called for the foul. Sadu, first foul. Team foul number three into the game. Gorek Sran back on for the Royals. Here's a three from Zach Paulson, and that one is all net. That'll make it 58 to 30. The net up again above, up over the rim. And uh, they'll just leave it this time. Sran gets it to Dillon, and that one is short. And some more are coming the other way. Blackman for some more. Being guarded by Sran, and now Blackman, plenty of time to step into that one. Couldn't get it to go, though. It's off the mark. 58-30, to 30, Falcons with just over a minute 30 to go in the first half, and there's a walk called. called on Lucas Hutchison. Minute 36 to go. And... Nice uh, They fix the net. Here's Maui Z. Paulson to some more. Here's Latour, a three, and he leaves it short. And it looked like Paulson got fouled going for the rebound, and he does. Foul's called on Dillon. That is the fourth team foul on the Royals, only three on SPU. Not a lot of whistles in this ball game. Here's Blackman going up over the defender there, Sran, and couldn't get it to go. Coming the other way, Hutchison gets called for the offensive foul as he charges into Zach Paulson. And so the first foul on Hutchison. And the Falcons trying to push it back out to 30 again. They have a 28-point lead. Maui Z right out of Seattle here. Went to Bellevue College and transferred here to SPU. He gets it back. Some more. And we get a whistle down low 
And a foul is going to be called on the Royals. That's going on uh, Greg Sran. And they'll get it into Latour. A three from the corner, and it's in for Maui Z. 61 to 30. Falcons by 31. And this one going to end up in the hands of Blackman, who's going to have a dunk as he had a pass to the rim and went ahead and went up and threw it down. 63 to 30 Falcons as we're closing in under 30 seconds to go. Shot clock still on, but uh, pretty even with the game clock. And now the shot clock will go off as some more will pull down our rebound. And the Falcons may uh, try to get up another shot here before the half ends as a three from Paulson may have actually been inside the line either way it's off the mark but the Falcons dominate the first half here and they put 63 up on the board 63 to 30 at halftime SPU over Douglas College we will step aside here on the SPU webcast and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and recap the first half for you. Take a look at what's go what else is going on around the GNAC. And uh, we will be back with you in a few minutes here uh, before the start of the second half. 63-30 Falcons at the break.
Welcome back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast as the Falcons cruise to a 63-30 lead at halftime. As uh, it was close for the first couple of minutes, and then the Falcons went on a run and pulled away from the Douglas College Royals. And 63-30, your score at the break for Douglas College. They get uh, 10 points from Luca Bonamici. Seven from Hunter Thompson. And uh, just a total of 12 rebounds as a squad. Tanner French had three of those. Three assists for Lucas Hutchison. And uh, just a couple of blocks. One from Sidhu, one from Thompson. The uh, Royals shoot 44% from the floor in the first half. 29% uh, beyond the arc. Respectable numbers on uh, both counts there. Just two of two at the free throw line. Not, not a lot of free throws in this ball game. Falcons only got to the line three times and they went two of three there. Falcons though shooting 62% in the first half, 26 of 42. And they go nine of 18 beyond the arc, 50% out there. And uh, they get 14 points from Jonas Latour on six of 11 shooting in just uh, they give him uh, 12 and a half, 12, 12, 12 minutes. Uh, we'll say 13 minutes, <laughs> and uh, he he uh, scored 14 points. Uh, 11 points from Julian Mora in just about a seven and a half minute stint, and uh, he was 303 from beyond the arc. And uh, Falcons also getting nine from Shaw Anderson in uh, just under six minutes. He has not had to play a whole lot, but uh, he missed his first uh, shot of the game and then didn't miss after that. Missed his first free throw. He's a, he is he's the only one with a missed free throw in the ball game. As uh, the Falcons get eight points and four rebounds from Kelton Samore. They get uh, five assists from Ben Baker McCann, who was uh, held scoreless, but uh, contribute, contributes with five assists. And uh, four rebounds, four points and four rebounds for Trace Evans as well off the bench. And he just played about seven and a half minutes for the Falcons as they lead by 33 at the break. Quick look around the GNAC as uh, that is the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Falcons, uh, one of ten teams in that conference. I mentioned uh, the Royals and the Pac West Athletic Association, one of just seven teams competing in men's basketball in that conference. They play everybody else in that conference three times. Falcons will play everybody else in their conference twice, and then they have uh, some non-conference games as well, this one counting on their schedule. St. Martin's picked to win the GNAC this year. Falcons picked to finish fifth, and St. Martin's is 4-0. None of these, uh, none of the GNAC has uh, played any conference games yet, but they will in a couple of weeks. Um, Montana State Billings also 4-0, and uh, Simon Fraser, Western Washington, at both at 3-1. Northwest Nazarene 2-1, Western Oregon 3-2. And then Alaska, Fairbanks, Seattle Pacific, and uh, just those two, two and two. Anchorage, two and three, and Central Washington, one and three. As we are underway here in half number two, Anderson back out on the floor, and it's the original starting five for the Falcons. And Anderson will get it to some more. Some more in the post to Anderson, and he'll kick it out to Blackman, Paulson. Try to get it to Anderson, deflect it out to Z. Here's Blackman. And a three from the corner from Zach Paulson is good. Paulson, Paulson had seven in the first half, and he is up to 10. 66-30. And this is going to be poked away by Maui Z. From uh, poked away there from, uh, from Kai Bomert. Here is Z with a three, and that one's off the front iron, no good. Rebound to Dillon. Here come the Royals. Bonamici with it. He move to his left and kick it back out. A three on the way from Tanner French is off the mark. Here's Cyan Blackman. 
Some more goes to the bucket. Count it. And he'll go to the free throw line. Some more with 10. And he will try to uh, hit the free throw as well here. 18.45 to go. And the Falcons now an, a 38-point lead. 33 at halftime was their largest lead, but they have expanded it here. And some more puts in the free throw. Barely nestles through the net there. And it is a 39-point lead for SPU. Here's Bob and Dillon across midcourt. This is Sidhu. Sidhu moving to his left. And he'll find Bonamici. And that one's off the back iron, no good. Falcons the other way, Maui Z. Dishes to Zach Paulson, and that one is off the iron, no good. Royals the other way, Bomert. Going up over Anderson, couldn't get the shot to go, though. And the Falcons back the other way. Blackman in the corner for a three. That one it rattles out. Anderson reverses it up and in. And the Falcons go up by 41. Shaw Anderson with 11 now. Kai Bomert gets it to Bob and Dillon on the right wing. French over to Sadu. Sadu from the left wing misses on the three. Falcons back the other way. Here is Maui Z. Gets it to some more. And now Paulson going to kick it back out for Z, who will call out a play. 12 on the shot clock. Z steps through a couple of defenders, finds Anderson wide open three in the corner, and that one rattles out. He goes to get his own miss, and he's the last one to touch it. It'll be Clayton Whitman will, Clayton Whitman will check in. It'll be uh, Royals basketball. Timeout has been called. And we get a timeout called here at the 17.09 mark of the second half by Douglas. And so we will step aside here on the SPU webcast. Falcons by 41. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Back to Iron Coaching Court inside Royal Brown Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 71-30, Falcons over the Royals. And the Falcons will come back out with Whitman, Baker, McCann, Blackman, Samore, and Z. And it'll be Dylan moving it across midcourt for the Royals. French hands back to Bob and Dylan. And here's Sadu, and Blackman got a piece of that one. And here it comes the other way. Whitman going to throw it down with the right hand. And Clayton Whitman getting in on the action. Sophomore out of Linden, Washington. Didn't play a whole lot last year. Hasn't played a whole lot this year. But he gets the dunk there, and there's a three from Bonamici coming the other way. That'll make it a 40-point margin again, 73-33. Clayton Whitman, his first two points of the ball game moments ago. And he's, he's going to take a three here, and that one's off the mark. No good. Rebound to Bonamici. Sadu back to Bonamici. 
Here's Dillon being guarded by Baker McCann. And now a three on the way from French, and that one is down. Three point basket, Tanner French. That'll make it a 73 36 ball game. As Tanner French with five points now for the Royals. Kelton some more. Out on top, gets it to Sion Blackman. Maui Z with it. Gets a screen from some more. Drives, puts it up, puts it in. Nice move, move there from Maui Z. And that will make it a 39 point ball game. Maui Z, five points for SPU. Here's Bonamici. Kicking it in the corner, and that one misses over the rim by Dillon. Here's Z the other way, hands off to Blackman. He puts it up and couldn't get it to go. Baker McCann follows it up and gets his first bucket of the game. Baker McCann has uh, been key off the bench for the Falcons in the first few games. Here's Bonamici, and he gets fouled on his way to the bucket. Two shots. Bonamici will get to the free throw line. He has 13 points in the ball game. And we're going to get to another media timeout here. The uh, last one, not a media timeout. This one is 14.54 to go, second half. 77-36 SPU over Douglas College. We'll be right back on, in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Back to action inside Royal Brown Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons lead it by 41, 77 to 36. As uh, they will come back out, Trace Evans actually will, yeah, he'll be on the floor. And uh, the Royals with three subs waiting to come in after the uh, at least the first free throw here by Bonamici. And one of them may be checking in for him as he misses that one off the back iron. Number two, Gerard, two, number two. As uh, also number 12, Pamacon Thompson. And number seven, comes back Hunter on Hunter, Hunter Thompson and Gorex Sran. And Bonamici at the free throw line gets the second one to go. Bonamici 14 points in the ball game, leading the Royals in the scoring department. 40 point ball game. Baker McCam between a couple of defenders had it knocked away, gets it right back and puts it up and in. Good hands there by Baker McCann to keep that one alive. And Baker McCann puts it in. Here's Pamacon the other way and he lays it up and in. With the That'll make it a 40-point margin again. 79-39. And here's Trace Evans, and that one off the back iron, no good. Bonamici comes out with a rebound. He puts up a floater in the lane, couldn't get it to go. Now he's either rebound. Here's Baker McCann. And now back to Maui Z. Gets a screen from Evans. Blackman in the corner will step inside the arc and put in the Sorry shot. From Maui Z. And that'll make it an 81 to 39 ball game. Blackman with seven points now. Hey, 
And that one almost lost into the backcourt. And now Blackman with the steal. And he's going to lay this one in. Didn't want to throw that one down again or uh, maybe thought about it. But it is uh, now a 44-point lead for SPU. Here's Bonamici stepping through a couple of defenders. N nice looking move there. Draws the foul. He'll get to the free throw line. Walk out against number 14, Trace Evans. Trace Evans, Evans called for the foul. foul. Team foul number two. Two shots coming up for Luca Bonamici. Trace Evans, totally different uh, body size, but uh, reminds me a little bit of the character Denver on uh, the show Money Heist in the, in the, uh, the face. Number four, Jonas Latour. Number three, Hassan Rice. And number 13, Julian Mora. Kassan Rouse, Julian Mora, and Jonas Latour all check in for the Falcons. And Evans and Baker McCann out there as well as Bonamici puts in the free throw. Now in for Douglas College, number 10, Lucas Hutchinson. He will check out, and Lucas Hutchinson, Hutch, Hutchinson will check in. 83-40, to 40, Falcons with the lead. And Latour with it, gets it to Evans. Saw Trace out here quite a bit, helping out with the, uh, the volleyball matches this fall. Evans will get fouled on his way to the bucket there. And uh, foul called 10, Hutchison. on foul. Hutchison. Second team foul. Out of bounds. Mora will trigger the inbounds pass. And he'll get it into Baker McCann. And now we get another whistle. And we're going the other way. Offensive foul against number three, Kassan Rouse. First Kassan foul. Rouse called for an offensive foul. foul. 12.44 to go here in the second half. And it'll be Lucas Hutchison across midcourt. He sees an opening and kicks it off into the corner for a three from Tanner French. And Tanner French now with eight points for the Royals. Mora to Baker McCann. Nice looking pass to Rouse. And Rouse can't connect on the three from the corner. Baker McCann. Got good uh, court vision. Sees where people are at. Here's a three on the way three from Hunter Thompson. And the Royals now within 37 at 83-46. Here's Julian Mora. Mora will kick it off to Latour for a three, and that one goes down. And the basket is good. Jonas Latour, Latour now with, uh, I believe that is uh, 17 for him now in the ballgame as we get a whistle coming the other way. Foul is on number 15 of the Falcons, Ben Baker McCann. First foul, team foul number four. Immediate timeout off the As we get to another timeout, foul called on Baker McCann. 86-46 with 11.30 to go here in the ballgame. And we will be back in just a moment on the SPU webcast.
Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you. 86-46, Falcons by 40. As they return to the floor with the same five that uh, they had out a moment ago. Jonas Latour now 17 points to lead the way for the Falcons. 7 of 12 from the floor, 3 of 8 from beyond the arc. And a nice pass there to Sadu for the lay-in. And that'll make it 86 to 48. Here comes Julian Mora going behind the back, getting it across midcourt. Latour to Baker McCann. Here's Trace Evans out on top. He's going to drive and gets fouled and puts it in. Nice strong move to the bucket there by Evans. Got it to go, and he'll go to the line. That was on at number two, Gerard Pennington. Six points for Trace Evans. Team foul number three. Freshman out of New South Wales, Australia. And he will head to the free throw line. 50% from the line on the season. And it gets that one no problem. Kobe Elsner going to come back in for the Falcons for, the Falcons, for Julian Mora. 89 to 48. Falcons all over the Royals here. This one just an exhibition game for the Royals as that one off the mark and Evans comes down with it and it's going to be uh, Lucas Hutchison called for the foul. Foul goes against number 10, Lucas Hutchison. Third foul. That's his third. Team foul number four, Falcons ball. Closest thing we have to foul trouble. Here's Kassan Rouse getting it across midcourt. Son Rouse out of Lacey, Washington, which is where St. Martin's University is located. And Evans came up short on that one. Didn't have clean control of it. Didn't look like. Baker McCann, I think, hit that one off of Evans. Comes right back to Baker McCann, and he gets it to Rouse for a three to beat the shot clock. 92-48. And Kassan Rouse on the board with five points now. Here's Sadu for a three, and that one goes down. 92 to 51. And here comes Kassan Rouse across midcourt. Elsner in the corner. Back to Rouse. He'll get it in the post to Evans. Evans will back down, turn, and short with the left hand. And coming the other way are the Royals. A three from Pamacon and could not get that one down. Rouse back the other way for SPU. Just over nine minutes to go in this one. Baker McCann between a couple of defenders. Nice looking move. Couldn't get it to go, but Evans Trace is there to clean Evans. it up. Trace Evans with nine points now for the Falcons. And they're getting a lot of contributions from uh, their bench. Starters haven't had to play a whole lot. This one thrown right to Evans. And he'll come up with the steal. Elsner drives, finds Baker McCann. Now Latour from the corner, and that one goes down. And Jonas Latour's got 20 points in the ball game. Season high for him. And uh, actually had not scored at all coming into the ball game. But 20 points here tonight for Jonas Latour. Here's a three on the way from Hutchison. That one goes down. Lucas Hutchison with the three pointer. 97 to 54. And here's Ben Baker McCann the other way. Rouse to Latour. 
And now Evans in the post. Finds Rouse going to the bucket, and he's going to draw the foul. Pamacon going to be called for it. Fouls on number two, Gerard. That Pamacan. is going to take us to another media timeout with 7.43 remaining in the ballgame. Falcons up comfortably 97-54. to And we will be back in just a moment on the SBU webcast. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Falcons shooting 59% from the floor for the ball game, 48% beyond the arc as they are 13 to 27 out there. Really, both teams have shot the ball pretty well, but uh, the Falcons uh, a lot more shots up, actually double the amount of field goals made as the uh, Royals 20 for 44 from the floor and the Falcons 40 for 68. And at the free throw line, Kassan Rouse misses the first. One more seven come up. And he'll get another Four. one. Kassan Rouse. Kassan Rouse seeing his first action of the season tonight for SPU. And he puts in the second free throw to give him six points for the game. Here's Bonamici stepping back and off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Latour. Here's Rouse across midcourt. Gets it to Evans. And now Rouse in the corner. We'll get it back to Evans. Evans had it knocked away, and Bonamici comes away with it. This is going to be a travel called on Pamacon. Guy Bomert, number four, checking back in. For and Douglas. Bomert will check back in for Jivan Sadu. 98-54. to 54. Falcons inbound, backcourt. Rouse across midcourt. Evans catches it in the post, and they're going to call him for an, off, for an offensive foul. And it'll go the other way. Second foul, 15 foul. Royals basketball. Second foul on Evans. Each team with five team fouls here in the second half. Here's Pamacon going around Elsner. And goes up with the left hand and lays it in. Gerard nice Pamacan. looking move there by Gerard Pamacon. He's got eight. Here's Kassan Rouse with it. He throws it up for Clayton Whitman. An alley-oop. Whitman with his second dunk of the game. Rouse was doing a lot of dribbling, and the Royals forgot about Whitman. Bonamici comes right back with a three. He's got 18 points in the ball game, but the Falcons getting Clayton Whitman involved with a couple of highlight, highlight reel dunks, especially that last one in the alley-oop from Kassan Rouse. Here's Elsner a three from the corner, and that one's off the mark. Evans with the rebound. He'll kick it back to Elsner, and now Whitman is going to step in. 
Dish it out for Rouse, a three on the way, and that one is off the mark, but the rebound comes down to Clayton Whitman. Here's Elsner for a three, and that one goes down for Kobe Elsner. And the Falcons bench reacting to that one as Kobe Elsner gets on the scoreboard. 103-59, still 5-15 to play here in this one. And this is Bomert kicking it to Pamacon in the corner. And that one off the mark. And Jonas Latour the rebound. Elsner finds Evans going to the bucket, throws it down. And that'll make it 105-59. Trace Evans with 11 points. And an emphatic throw down there. Bonamici gets into the bucket, goes over Evans, and couldn't get the shot to go. Latour the rebound. Gets it to Rouse across midcourt. 105-59, your score. SPU in front. Latour had it poked away. And that one goes out of bounds. Jacob Gray will check in along with DJ Clark for the Falcons as they see action for the first time tonight. So Jacob Gray, freshman out of Camas, Washington, and DJ Clark, a sophomore from Burlington, Washington, transferred from Skagit Valley College. And this is Gray, and Bonamici goes around him, and Latour flashes in for the rebound as Bonamici is off the mark. Gray to Elsner. They get it to Clark, and now Whitman in the corner. Whitman cross court for Gray. And he tried to get it back to Whitman. Here's Clark cleaning up the mess, but is short on the jumper. Dillon ahead, and Clark gets back and intercepts the pass. Three and a half to go. Falcons in front by 46 points. Clark. Gets it to Whitman, and Whitman with another throwdown. Clayton Whitman with three dunks in the ballgame, and he's got six points. 107 to 59. Whitman coming alive a bit in this one. He's got some good length. 6-5. Bomert gets to the bucket and gets the bucket to go, and he will get to the free throw line. Foul number 11, Clayton Whitman. First Whitman foul. called for the foul. Team foul number six. Media timeout. On and we get to our final media timeout of the evening. 107 to 61. Falcons lead it with 2.52 to go in the ballgame. We'll be right back in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SP webcast. 107-61, Falcons over the Royals. And uh, Kai Bomert waiting at the free throw line as the Falcons return to the floor. Clayton Whitman and Kobe Elsner both from Linden, Washington. Elsner, a transfer from University of Puget Sound. And uh, both have been here the last couple years. Bomert misses on the free throw. And 
And uh, let's see what the confusion is here. You're going to let. Uh, Basket was good before the timeout. It was only supposed to be one shot. So we got it all sorted out. Okay. It was, uh, it was a good basket before the timeout. Bomert was at the free throw line for just one. And he missed on it. And, of course, uh, <laughs> this one got away from uh, everybody, including Bomert, who thought he had a second free throw. This one threw the hands of Dylan out of bounds. And the Falcons will take it with 2.36 to go. Elsner across midcourt. Here's DJ Clark. Jacob Gray with it. Gray around and kicks it out to Latour. Elsner for Whitman. Nice behind the back. Whitman finds Latour. Here's Elsner again. Elsner finds Gray in the corner. He's going to step into it and launch it and knock it in. Jacob Gray with three on the board. 110-61. Here is Bonamici the other way. Off the iron, and Elsner out hustles everyone to that one. DJ Clark with it. He'll pull up from about 10 feet out on the baseline. No good. Bonamici the rebound. Falcons by 49. Bonamici. And that one gets over Whitman and goes in. Bonamici, 20 points for the Royals. Having a good game for them. Latour swings it to Gray in the corner. And Gray has it poked away by Tanner French. Here's Bonamici for another three. That one off the mark. Whitman for the rebound. He'll throw it up the court for Latour. Here's Gray in the corner for a three, and that one comes up short. Just over a minute to go in this one. one minute left. And there is Jonas Latour stepping in the passing lane. He'll throw it down, and that will make it a 112-63 ball game. As Jonas Latour, scoreless so far this year, 22 tonight for the Falcons. And Whitman the rebound. Gets it ahead for Clark. DJ Clark up and in. Could have had an N1 there, but uh, he gets the bucket. And it is 114 to 63. Three on the way and off the mark. Rebound to Latour. And Latour telling Clark, dribble it out. As the shot clock is off. And DJ Clark will dribble it out. 114 to 63, the Falcons, as uh, Clark will give it up to Elsner. He'll just hold on to it. And the Falcons go to three and two on the season. And that's the end of tonight's game. Final score. And uh, of course, Douglas still two and three. They were coming. They came in at two and three. This one does not count on their record. It does on the Falcons' record. You'll see that sometimes with uh, a that is Grant Leap's 100th career win tonight. And he is in his seventh year, just getting started with his seventh year. As uh, Grant Leap win number 100 in his career with SPU. 114 to 63, the final. And uh, mentioned that, you know, basically the, the, this one counts on the Falcons record. Warner Pacific will be here Saturday. They are a Division Three team, uh, Falcons Division Two, and that one I believe will not count on Warner Pacific's record, but it will on the SPU's. And uh, so you'll see that sometimes when a, a team plays a uh, another team from a lower conference. The uh, of course the Royals 
not in the NCAA. Really, Simon Fraser University, the only Canadian team that plays in the NCAA. And, of course, uh, Simon uh, or uh, Douglas College, rather, in the Pac West Athletic Association. Falcons in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. They go to 3-2 and two on the season. Let's get you some uh, final stats here. First of all, looking at uh, team stats, Falcons end up shooting 57% from the floor. Douglas College, 43%. Um, and really the, the three points, uh, the three-point margin, not that far off. Falcons, 15 of 32, and the Royals, 11 of 32. Falcons go 47%, though, and the Royals just 34%. Neither team shot uh, more than seven free throws. Falcons go 5 of 7 from the line, and the Royals go 4 of 7. Falcons out-rebounded the Royals 41 to 24. And uh, they led by as many as 51. That is their largest lead. They finished with a 51-point lead. 28 assists for the Falcons to 13 for Douglas. And Douglas turned it over 20 times. The Falcons just five times. And uh, the Falcons had some fun out there tonight. See, We saw a few dunks in this one. Taking a look at some individual stats before we sign off. As uh, Lucas Bonamici, I believe, actually ended up with 20. We have him for 17 and 7 rebounds. But uh, I want to say that uh, he actually had 20. I could be wrong on that. 11 points for Gerard Pamacon. 10 points for Hunter Thompson. And they get, uh, as I mentioned, seven rebounds from Bonamici, six from uh, Tanner French. And they get four assists apiece from French and Hutchison. And the Falcons filling up the stat sheet. And really the, uh, the starters, none of them got 20 minutes in this game. Uh, the only player to get more than 20 points or 20 minutes in the game was Jonas Latour, who actually was in there for 26 minutes, went 9 of 14 from the floor, and had 22 points to lead the way for SPU. He also had eight rebounds and two assists, three steals as well for Jonas Latour. So, if you're uh, you're wanting to name a player of the game, he is the one for the Falcons tonight. 11 points apiece from Shaw Anderson, Kelton Samore, Julian Mora, and Trace Evans. Mora with uh, 11 all in the first half, just within about a two- or three-minute stretch. And uh, Mora went four of five from the floor, three of three from, be from beyond the arc. The uh, Falcons getting... Uh, 11 from Trace Evans to go with eight rebounds. A couple of blocked shots from Sion Blackman to go with four steals. He had nine points. Four steals, three assists, two blocks, and three rebounds as well. So Sion Blackman filling up the stat sheet. Kelton Samore, 11 points, five rebounds, and uh, he went three of three from the free throw line for SPU, and uh, they get, uh, the Falcons get just four points from Ben Baker McCam. He chips in with eight assists, and he leads the way in that department for SPU. So lots to be excited about here, of course. Um, the opponent from a lower division, um, but the Falcons looking good here in their home opener tonight, getting a lot of players involved. Everybody scored as uh, Jacob Gray and DJ Clark got in late, and uh, they both got on the board. So did Kobe Elsner and uh, everyone that played in the game tonight for the Falcons scored, and they played 14 players, and I believe they just had two inactive tonight. But uh, everybody else that was uh, dressed got in 
and uh, got on the scoreboard. 114 to 63, Seattle Pacific over Douglas College. And uh, as we mentioned, we will be he back here on Saturday as Warner Pacific will be in the building. They uh, are in, they, they come from Portland, Oregon, and they're a Division III school. And uh, that will be a 3 p.m. tip off. So join us 3 p.m. on Saturday. But uh, before we're back on Saturday, have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your long weekend, and we'll talk to you again on Saturday. Have a good night.